This video explains how to use the DAE131 test tool for testing your PixLite controller. Now this tool has been around for a number of years and has been instrumental as a tool in testing just some of the RGB output. Now another tool is XLights and that's in another video. But let's go ahead and pull up the assistant so that we can look at the settings on our controller. Now how we physically have it set up is this is output 1, output 2, output 3. Now we just have a single pixel on each individual output. So let's go ahead and look at our settings here by doing a search, clicking on the controller, and you can see under control we have the starting universe is one, and there's one node per pixel. Seems a little unusual, but there is just one node per pixel. Now if we click on advanced and we look at the settings, you'll see that the universe is one, and you can see that it's automatically addressed them all here for me because I have selected one universe to start with and one node per string. Now you can see that the start channel is one so this is going to be one two three that's red green blue then the next one is going to be four five six and then seven eight nine. Now uh, we have other videos that explain the null pixels the zigzag and reverse so for simplicity here, you would set normally the number of strings you have and the number of nodes per string and go ahead and do a test. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that, load up the DA E131 utility. And the first thing we can do is look at the settings. Now the settings can be set up to go from one universe to another. What this tool allows you to do is basically chase through your entire lights. It allows you to verify the operation of your lights. Now it also does have a manual operation. So what we're going to do is because I only have one universe, we would select one universe. Now if I had multiple universes, because let's say we go up to 32 on this controller, if I had 32 I could go all the way up to that. Now uh, we're also going to set the channel maximum count. So in this particular case, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're going to put 9. That's DMX channels. And in this case, we also have a static IP address instead of a multicast address. Now, this IP address is right here. I have a DHCP assigned address that came from my network. Often, as you'll see in our other videos, we recommend to set a static IP address. But in this particular case, we're using uh, this DHCP address and I'm doing unicast. That means send the data directly to the controller, not to all things on the network. Okay, once we have all that, we can go ahead and close it. And what we're going to do here is we're simply going to try to do a chaser. So we're going to do a chase, and you can see here it's going red, green, blue. Then it's going to go red, green, blue and then red, green, blue. Now this is with 1750 milliseconds of delay. So let's take the delay out of it. And you can see it'll go through them quite rapidly. And we can go here, red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. And we can change the intensity, how bright it is. Or very low. So you can see this is very useful. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to go up to the faders. Now, we have one through nine channels. So what I can do is I can manually go up. This is the intensity here. And I can set it to what I want it. So you can see channel one, that's DMX channel one. Two, three. So that's the first pixel. These are again DMX channels, four, red, green, blue. Now, if I had another set of channels, let's say that these started at 100, I could change that number so that number was, was 100 as opposed to just one. So you'd simply change that and you can see that this would allow me, and it's outputting data to channel DMX one, uh, channel 48 on universe one course we do not have anything configured for that but it is actually outputting so you can see it's a simple tool um, it allows you to do simple tests like this all red all green 
all blue, all one set intensity at once. These are great little utilities. These allow you to test your controller to make sure that you physically have them set up the way that you expect in your sequencing application. Because if they don't work in the simple test application, you can't expect them to work properly in applications like LiDAR, LightShow Pro, Vixen, Madrix, or other utilities. That's how you use DAE131 test source utility with the Pixlite controllers.